funny story actually how I got started twirling. Um, my parents are golf instructors and they take me to the golf course and instead of hitting golf balls I basically started twirling my seven iron. So we would bring Cody when he was seven years old out to golf class with us after school golf and I would be teaching chipping class to the younger children and Cody was standing over there twirling his seven iron instead of hitting golf balls with it. You know they found me a baton, they found me a coach and then like, the rest is history. We thought, okay, one lesson will be one and done. Yeah. And he showed up at the first lesson because he'd been practicing in our living room and he was doing like two year tricks. He was very, very young. He was uh, seven years old. Uh, I had a couple of students at this competition, so I watched him and I could tell by his general handling. I mean, he twirled so slow, my God, you didn't think it was so slow motion. I said, you know, this boy has a lot of talent. I talked to uh, his mom and his dad, and I told him that he was extremely talented. Right from the beginning, he, he you know, he's a very intelligent child. He really, the young man, I shouldn't call him child. Well, he picked it up really fast, and I thought, my God, this kid, he's going to be good, you know? I said, did you work on the routine? He said, yeah, but it's really easy. Yeah, so after, like, my first baton lesson, I basically fell in love with it. It's, like, the only thing that I wanted to do, you know, I just go around the house, you know, tw tw twirling the baton, you know, twirling pencils, twirling drumsticks. Everywhere we went, he carried his baton around. We'd go to restaurants or like just a fast food restaurant. He'd walk in there with his baton and start twirling. <laughs> Never could put it down. Ever, ever since he was young, I mean, he would be working on homework. And, and younger when he was like third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, when I was like quizzing him on spelling words. And I'd be quizzing him. He's like, mom, I have to go twirl. I'm like, okay, go ahead, go do it for a little while. It's like I knew he needed, it was something he like needs to do. There it is, that one doesn't always work. That's one of the, that doesn't always work. Yes, yeah, so that's the one that's more difficult depending on the floor too. This one I can always, can always get that one. I know that one always works, but this one. I had given him this trick where he throws the baton on the floor and it bounces back. And he did that, well that trick I used to do way back in the 50s. Well, it hadn't been seen all of those years, and I happened to remember it, and he just loved it. He said, oh, that is a fun trick. And he's won everything. He's won the grand champion of California, grand champion of the United States, world. He's won all of that. When I won my first world championship gold medal in uh, Italy. I was 13 years old, and it was just incredible, because it felt like, you know, all these years of Hard work, dedication, perseverance all paid off in that moment. To, you know, to be able to stand up there, represent my country, and win the gold for the United States was an incredible feeling. He was getting his routines ready to bring it up to a world-class routine. You know, he qualified, um, and he went out and just uh, blew him away. I mean, he was 10 years old, won preliminaries, uh, finished third. You know, it's it's great. Mm -hmm. And then he t and then to win on top of all that. Makes it right. it's just awesome. Ah. <laughs> ah, here we go. That is also one interesting thing. See, the, the ceilings are lower here. When you're outside, you can just chuck it up 100, 200 feet in the air. <laughs> so, oh yeah, I could, I could do some damage to the ceiling right now. <laughs> yeah, I could, yeah, I could throw it probably. Um, I want to say, yeah, 200, 300 feet probably is what I would estimate. Yeah, because I could. So America's Got Talent was like one of the coolest experiences of my entire life. They were having auditions here in Phoenix, and um, our son, our older son, actually found the flyer that said they were having auditions, and it was just a really busy day, the day of it. We're just, we said, Cody, I don't think we're going to be able to make it with our jobs and all, all this stuff. Hi. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Cody Carter. Better known as Cody the Twirler. Cody, Cody the, the twirler. twirler. And how old are you? I am 14 years old. What's the dream? You're 14 years old. Where do you see yourself going in life? Well, I definitely want to twirl for a major university, but then I want to definitely twirl for Cirque du Soleil. To be able to like take baton twirling to the biggest stage in America and share with the world you know, what I love doing so much was awesome. And to be, you know, just to see all the behind the scenes of it, you know, talk to the contestants, I mean, you're in the room with these people that are crazy talented, and just to be able to, you know, be with them and hear their stories and see what they do and share kind of what you do with them, and then obviously again to just share with the world the sport you love so much, it's, it's nothing like it. I thought 
This was extraordinary twirling. I have never seen anyone twirl like this before. You obviously you hope that he's going right. to make it that far, but you know it's a competition, and there's a lot of talented yeah, people. Right. So you, you know it's one of those things you just you just never know, and it was exciting. Right. Because we anyway, never knew. Yeah. Right. And we were kind of under the impression what however far he went was okay with us. We were just thrilled he made it through the first audition. And then to go two more rounds, couldn't ask for any more. We were thrilled. Through high school, you know, I was with the marching band. I did like probably, I don't know, 20, 40 band competitions. So to see, you know, I've been through all the high schools and stuff. So compared to like, you know, um, some of those high schools, they don't, it's a night and day difference between, between ASU's. So yeah, it's, it's really nice, yeah. I looked at, you know, all their, um, on uh, the computer to find out about them. They're excellent. I've seen the band. The band is incredible. Great band director. They have great color guard unit. Wonderful. Uh, Debbie, it would be stupid. It's in your backyard. A blessing in disguise to go to that university. It's a, it's a marvelous, marvelous school. And I'm so happy that we got in there. I've grown up and lived in Arizona, you know, 20 minutes away from the Tempe campus. So I grew up, you know, my dad is a big Arizona State fan. So, you know, all the time, you know, sitting by the couch, sitting by the TV, watching Arizona State basketball, football, you know, all the sports. So it seemed like it was just like, you know, destiny. Yeah, it was a like a dream come true. Right. And Plus, then, we get to yeah. go to the games, too. Yeah. 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 So we were really yeah. happy about that. We're very happy. Yeah. Twirling in front of the student section is such a, like a cool opportunity. And I think the reason that, you know, I get to do that and it's so cool is because that I have this, such a different and unique style of twirling where it's kind of like I do like the, the hip hop and the break dancing and, I just have a really kind of different style from a lot of twirlers, and I feel like it's really unique, and I'm really glad that ASU saw that. It's kind of like an, an innovative twirling style, and it's the school of innovation, so I feel like it worked out really well. He's one in a million. I've got a lot of men students that have been world champions, grand national champions, but they've had the ballet background, so they, they perform different than he did. And he was first one. Well, at that time, they didn't do, you know, hip hop or anything like that. But, um, but of all my uh, champion men, he's by far really one of the best. I mean, they were good, really good, but he's really equal with them, and I think his handling is really better than my best uh, man student. Working on a lot of new cool stuff, so when we come back, I can do a lot of you know, new, unique twirling that no one's ever seen before. So I really looked at it kind of as an opportunity more than a setback. We know yeah. Cody, Ever since he's started twirling, he, all he wants to do is entertain and inspire people. I get like lost in the twirling, you know what I mean? Like everything else fades away.